I find something actually filmable today? All right guys, so for a while now, I've been obsessively searching for my next lifer. I want this to be some type of salamander, maybe a dusky two line, red mud salamander, um, Gulf Coast water dog, all sorts of crazy salamanders that I want to, you know, go find, uh, and I've just been failing. But today, after I stayed up way too late last night doing way too much research on a topic I decided to hyper focus on, um, I think that I may have pinpointed the location of a really cool one that I want to find. Let's go. Today we're going to be targeting mud salamanders, two-line salamanders, dusky salamanders, and maybe even red salamanders. And I switched up red and mud salamanders. I'm pretty sure the mud is the rarer of the two. Now, are we going to find any of those? I don't know, but we are certainly going to try. In the meantime, we might also see some cottonmouths, water snakes, and other things that like to inhabit this type of area. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Not to sound like a bird or anything, but there are these two beautiful red-headed woodpeckers. Right over. Not really out here for birds, but uh, if I was, I have been continuing my search for what is like two hours now, maybe. I hope the snot that's dripping from my nose, like water, isn't really visible on camera. But it's kind of chilly out here. Um, I don't know if that really affects my chances of seeing what I'm hoping to see. But I have convinced myself that there are certain signs of this type of habitat that I'm looking for in these salamanders, even though I haven't seen any today. And I am seeing more of the signs. So I think we're getting closer. Anyways, I will check back in with you guys later. But just to let you guys know, well, sometimes it's really easy and we have an excess of content. Times like these, when I really should be at home studying for the chemistry test on like Monday or Tuesday, and I'm instead spending two or three hours in the woods after a math tournament looking for things that don't want to be found. <laughs> I do put effort into these videos, I promise. Anyways, I will check back in with you guys later, hopefully with something else. Herb tile. Right there, that just jumped there. That is a cricket frog, I think. Has there been anything else today at all? No. Will I be daunted? No, because I drove out here from Covington. Now, do I live in Covington? No. In fact, after this, I will be heading back home to Hammond. But... I'm out here. I will not be out here for a while. While I'm out here, I must confirm or deconfirm that there are the salamanders that I want to find here so that I don't waste my time again. Wow. That. It's pretty cool. I don't know if the size perspective really works, but just so y'all can see. Yeah. Great. This is all. This is all noted. I'm. I'm noting all of this. There's some fluffy moss down here. Well, I found that spring-fed stream I've been looking for, and it has this beautiful fluffy moss. The only problem is it's getting kind of dark, which means I have to head in soon. We're gonna look for just a little bit longer, but as soon as it hits five o'clock, I'm gonna head back to my car. There it is, right in my hands. There. At the end of the day, I'm about to head in. I just found my lifer spotted dusky salamander, Desmog. Let's go. And this means that I am in the right spot and that there are some pretty cool things here. Anyways, I think I might just get a picture of this guy and flip one or two more logs and head in it. But I will check back in with you guys later. What a treat. This lighting is absolutely terrible. That is a cool looking little salamander there. All right, I'm going to get one or two pictures and then we're slipping them back under his log and then we're going to keep on looking for things. I'm going to get one. Alright guys, well this was one of my targets today, but I really don't think we're going to be able to spend much time on him. I don't actually really know much about the species. So, we're just going to take him. Oh, my hands are so hard to maneuver right now because they're so cold. We're just going to let him slip below that log right there. As much as I really want to show him off more, my hands don't really work right now because it's so cold. But I just flipped this next little guy, which I'm pretty sure is my life for two-line salamander. All right, that's double lifers back to back. Two logs. Get close up. Yeah, he's got how many toes? Five back toes. Okay, so this right here is my life for two line salamander. That's a double lifer day. Wow. Okay. Well, I have been putting in the effort. Y'all saw me. I've been here for about four hours now. I finally found my first two salamanders. Are both lifers for me? 
That is a two-line salamander. I'm going to grab a voucher shot. I'm going to try to get some pictures with my camera. I'm going to try to get some more natural photos with my camera than just him on the boardwalk. And we're going to let him go, and I think we're going to leave. But, uh, wow. Okay. I'll check back in with you guys later. Yeah, two-line salamanders are another species of lungless salamander. They're very similar to dwarf salamanders. A good way to tell them apart is on their back legs, they have five toes versus four, which is also the reason for the name quadridigida in a lot of your dwarf salamanders, or that one species at least. Anyways, I am good with this guy. I don't know if he's going to actually let me pick... Okay, so he just fell off down here, and I think I'm just going to make sure... Yeah, okay, so he's behind some leaf litter right now, and I'm just going to leave him there. My hands aren't really mobile right now. Anyways, I think with that, with two lifers, um, wow, <laughs> my breath, I think I'm going to climb out of this area, I think I'm going to go home, yeah. All right, with that said, with that done, I think that'll be all for today. I don't think I'm going to find a third lifer. I think I'm just going to call it here and go home. Anyways, I will see you guys later. I just started filming with my nose there because my fingers are nearly frozen. This is why I do it. Dominic, you've been here a bunch of times before. You've, you've been to this location before. The last couple of times you've gone, you've found nothing. Nothing at all. Why do you insist on wandering for hours and hours, searching newer and newer places in that same area that's let you down so many times before? I'm going to find them when you've tried and invested so much time and effort into these creatures already just for to get the same result of them not being there. I can't even turn my key. Yep, starting the car with two hands. Wow. We're going to turn the heater up because while my body is actually kind of warm, um, my hands need to be able to drive to an extent. Why, why, why do I... Because of this. Because this spot right here, those two species, even though they were my targets for today, are indicators of a cooler species, like the red salamander, right? A cooler species. And I'll let you know if we actually find it, right? Why do I do it? Because those are two species I've been looking for since I started this. The two-line salamander is something that's really common in YouTubers and other areas of the United States videos. Right? So I expected to find immediately, and I never did. This is something I've been looking for since I was like 13. And I'm like 17 now. I am 17. Let's go. Wow. I feel really good about myself. I'm not going to let this go to my head. Anyways, I'm really glad I got to share that with y'all. Those are my two lifers. We will come back here another time when I have more time, and then we will film something mildly educational about them. A little more than I did just now, when my hands are more mobile than they are. Oh my gosh. When they are now. Ow. Hmm and when I have more time and more daylight. Anyways, I will check back in with you guys later. Let's go.